Hello there, and welcome to Know Your Champion with Nap. Today we're taking a look at Katana, the mistress of the Soul Taker. I've been playing her a bit lately, so I got her around level 9. Um, I've been mainly playing her in the jungle, but um, as I Ayuki will show you, she is very, very viable in the lane as well. So, first I'd just like to go over her skills. And I guess we'll start with her passive here. And her passive basically makes it so that each time you slash or you dash, cross step, slash or dash, you get either attack damage or attack lifesteal. So, if you have two W's in your bar, you're gonna have 4% lifesteal. Now if you level this all the way up to 4, and then you have two W's in your bar, because the way she works is she stores each attack, so she, stars, she stores the Q, and then she stores the W in her bar and then you consume those and it turns into a separate attack depending on your output here so you can have two of either of these in the bar and that will affect your passive so at level four if you have two w's you essentially have ten percent lifesteal just on your basic attacks. I mean, not only on your basic attacks, do everything, but it's 5% per stack in the bar. So, 5% plus 5% is obviously 10%. Now, if you go with the slashes, you get an extra attack damage. So, at its maximum potential, with two Qs stored in your bar, you're doing an extra 20 attack damage. So, it's not really all about getting the combination of the cross steps and the slashes and then just wasting them. You can also think, alright, I have these stored, how do I use them to the best of their potential? So, with that, this is pretty much her most basic and probably the thing you're going to focus on using the most is her slash. Now her slash deals 50 attack damage in a cone in front of her. and The cone is pretty wide, you'll see when I start playing with her. And it's pretty good to keep using the QQ and then this. But we'll get to that in a second. So, you got your basic slash right here. And remember that each time you have these stored inside your bar, you're affecting your passive here. Now, what her cross step does is it stacks up to three times. So every time you use the W, you get a stack of damage reduction. Now, How much damage reduction does she actually do? So, you can build health on her, and um, you'll see in some of the footage that I use, I really, I normally don't get crazy health on her, but Ayuki does it in the lane, and it really, the Lobos chain, she says that the Lobos chain paired with the ability to dash your, your shadow step, where you, um, I can't put my mouse over it without losing the tooltip, but basically the WW, the shadow step, allows you to be immune to disables. So any type of crowd control, like a stun or a slow, you're immune for whatever the time is that you level it. So it's 0 0.5 and then 1, 1 1.5, 2 as it gets leveled. And you can use that immunity to get directly on top of your opponents with the Lobos chain and slow them down. So I don't, I don't want to go too much into builds right now. We're just we're just going to talk about the skills, you know. But um 
while you're dashing, you should keep it at at least three stacks. You'll, you'll see above your tooltip, uh, your, there's like a tooltip bar right above your skills, and it shows you how many stacks you have with that character. So, on top of that, this is her. This is probably what you want to level up the most because this basically turns all of your skills into some kind of monstrosity at some point. So, when you do QQ, you get Spirit Wave, and that's basically a poke that does 70% of her attack damage. So, that's her most damaging skill with the QQs. I mean, I mean with the uh, E. You want to get the QQs in there. And then you have WQ. Which is kind of like a stab that she does. It's not really... Um, it's not cone shaped. It's pretty much just straight out. It's pretty short. It doesn't have that much range. And what it does is... It deals damage to everybody that it goes through when you stab them and it also applies bleed and additional damage extends duration from 3 to 6 seconds so the more damage you have the more they're gonna bleed out if you land that stab and then also I've talked about the W already so you wanna get that double W to go with the immunity maybe get directly on top of your opponent maybe escape from a fight so she is also very very low on cooldowns so as you can see this is the one that you know turns everything into a crazy power so obviously that's gonna have the longest cooldown it has eight seconds on it but the dash has 3.5 seconds on it on top of the cooldown reduction that you most likely are going to be building on your assassins so 3.5 3.5 really honestly these things come up like every second in the late game um and then you have her ultimate now i'm not really insane in league of legends i played it like a few times i've got less than 100 hours logged in it uh people compare her to Fi fiona in the way that she uses her ultimate is because she becomes invulnerable and untargetable and blinks to every champion that's nearby up to five attacks dealing 160 attack damage to each enemy she hits it also uh, deals 25% damage to enemies it has already hit so this is not Flash's ultimate where you want to get directly in the crowd of all five you want all five people within your ultimate um you can do that it's good to do that if they're all really low but you want to use your ultimate on the same target because you're going to be using that extra 25% damage to people that it's already hit so um it essentially is the best on two targets to one targets obviously you can do it the whole team's there you can do it it's it's good for um defensively becoming untargetable so if you're really low you use your ultimate and that way they can't really hit you and you're blinking all over the place depending on who you used it on they don't really know where you're gonna land you're just kind of like going everywhere um, they can lay down you know crowd control for when you come out of it so say if you use it on Joker and he pops his ultimate you know present uh, surprise combo and you come you go into the ultimate they use Neron you're probably just gonna be hitting him in and when you come out you're gonna be taking the damage you're gonna be getting slowed unless you propped up your uh, double W and try to dash immediately out of the ultimate when you get there so 
Uh, don't want to spend too much time talking about it. Let's hop right in. See what she's all about. Now, I don't have a, a crazy good build for using her in uh, Prime match. Alley. My build for her is mainly focused on uh, Co City, and you'll you get the same amount of money starting in Crime Alley as you do here. So, um, stolen powers in Co City. I love to take Atomic Joker's Detonate for the reduced cooldown and Superman Super Strength, which in Coast City, having these two opens up so many strategic plays for you. Um, it's just too good on junglers, especially super strength. Um, with people that she doesn't really have a ton of crowd control, you can use the super strength to obtain that crowd control by throwing a car, slowing them, throwing a meteor, knocking them up, knocking them up. Um, so. My main assassin build here is, you know, the the, pl the standard plus 10 attack damage on everything. Um, you'll see a lot of credits off mods, and I think that those are better suited for these Crime Alley 1v1 one. maps where you're actually, you know, like Gen Foes 1v1 tournaments those credit offs might actually help you or even Vengeance in Gotham Heights husband's name. but I would not use credit off mods on in ten seconds. Uh, Coast City so on top of that the augments in you, five uh, I haven't really talked uh, about that because everybody's gonna be different with the way they use them there's no right way to use your augments some people like health some people like attack speed some people want the flat attack damage and attack penetration <laughs> what you don't want to put on her is a power damage augment, but we will find um, justice So, where do we start with her? You want to start with either Q or W. Obviously, you can't even start with E. So, if you start with W, you're gonna get those dashes for the reduced damage. And then you're also going to get that the life steal from seconds. your passive. If you also start with this, you could stack some damage in it and start with a little bit more attack damage. So it's really all up to uh, you, your your comp, the situation. There's no, there's no the set way to seconds. level your things and uh, build. You can only be recommended towards these ways in the situation match that, initiated. you know, the match is providing for you. So, I'm just going to start with this. This is essentially how I start um, I do not fear the in the jungle of Coast City. You could also start with a level 2 knife and pots or a shield or something like that. So, I'm gonna go with W first for the damage reduction and attack lifesteal. And I'm gonna start using it before I engage on him. So, here we go. I got two stacks. You can see the two stacks up there. Now it's at three. Three stacks. And now I'm going to engage. Do a little poke. You got the lifesteal, so. And you gotta keep using the W to keep it stacked. So if you see, watch, the stacks went away. Now I use it once. One stack is back. Two. Yes, husband. My strength Now, where do you want to go from here? Do you want to go for attack damage, or do you think you need your blink to go around? You definitely need a little bit of harassment in this situation, so I'm going to grab my Q. See if I can stick to him. Now I had with having one of each color in the bar, you're gonna be having one of each attack damage, one life steal. So now I'm ha I'm in double life steal. Now something I really don't like about here right now is that it doesn't show on the tooltip what you're currently in. 
So it doesn't tell you, oh, you have 4% um, attack by skill now. It, it should say that in the cool test book. But this is the poke. That's the double Q poke. Let's start talking about the E now that I have it. So with two red bars in, you get this poke. 65 damage with the poke. Ooh, this Q just wrecked me right there. Now, I also haven't been using my damage reduction, so you want to get that. You're getting those stacks in. And this is a lifesteal poke. So that gives you some, uh... Oh, it's just bleed and additional damage. Okay, so... I thought that gave you lifesteal. It actually doesn't. It's just your passive that gives you the money. Now, that poke is just, um, yeah. the lead. Sucker. Step up. So, you can see he's bleeding out a little bit. And the more attack damage you have, the more he bleeds out. And obviously, that was just as planned. We wanted to die there. Alright. So, essentially, in the lane, she's better with using the poke. And the stand stand. You can do that. Keep the bleeding. I will never get My strength grows. I put one in the, in the attack now. Okay, so now what I didn't talk about is what the slow does. Now, this slow, which is Q, W, actually lasts for about, I think, seven seconds, so I'm going to use it, and yes. you're going to see my sword blow when I use it. Shadows. So, that's about... What does it say? How long does it do it for? New power relay operational in 30 seconds. Alright, it doesn't we tell you how long it empowers the, uh, space attack for. Um, you can see it on the tooltip. It's about six seconds, I think. And now I have my ultimate, and I can use this to dive him. I'm not going to. There's the poke. You can use that bleed. Now, I can uh, clear this out with the QQ. I seek vengeance. Another lesson now master. Power. Yes. I am returning to base. I will find a purpose for this. Alright, um normally I get this. Ayuki's been suggesting that I start with this. I do not fear the sword crown. Get that a little bit earlier. Um, in the jungle, you really don't need the knife exactly. It does help. So now I got the slow on him. See, so he slowed. And if things get a little bit too hairy, I can basically ulti. To become untargetable in the situation, you were and that way, many uh, I can stay alive. Like I can come down really low, and much. basically just like Flash does at the moment. Yeah. Like if you guys know that Flash's uh, ultimate makes him untargetable. Um. So I guess let's talk build now. With the builds, you definitely want to stick with a 
attack damage, attack penetration. Just how you would with any assassin. I like Deathstroke's Claymore for the activatable. You deal 5% of your target's maximum health. No time to waste. You don't need that. Um, unless they are an extremely tanky team, I would highly recommend getting that. It's still a good item either way. You can obviously use it on someone squishy like, you know, Night Bat, and it'll still give you an extra damage boost. Alright, so I'm gonna try to stab him. Alright, uh, blink out of that. Now I'm gonna slow him. So you watch the blade get slow. And now I'm gonna pop it on him. And now he's slow. He's got that aura around him on the bottom of his feet. You will find no peace with And as a jungler. You probably will find you're you using the slow the most. But as somebody in the lane with her. Another lesson now, um, best to keep moving. You'll probably find that the pokes and the stabs Even in the jungle while you're clearing the camps, the, the pokes are essentially pretty good. So, you can do some amazingly weird plays with her. Um, like so. I'm, I messed that up. I'm trying to stack myself up three times for the damage reduction. And then, do this. Okay, so see, I didn't really take that much damage there. But, of course, every map's different with the way the turret attack. So I got the slow on him. Now I think he's gonna use his ultimate on me. Yeah, he, he, I think he went to use it, or maybe that was just a scream for the uh. I will do whatever it takes. You can use that to dive under the tower. Because it makes you untargetable. Pride will be my undoing. I'm going. Clear. Level up the Q. Um, you really want to level into what you're building the most. So I'm building attack damage and attack penetration. For the I am most returning part. to base. If you're starting to build health on her, you might want to go into the W. But if you're doing mainly attack strike. damage and attack penetration, attack speed, you know, just going straight offensive, you wanna go Q for your levels. Now another thing that yes. she gets is I will be wary of the shadows. The slow off of the super speed if you use it. So you can use this like this. Come in with this. Now this slow. Extra slow. He's not going anywhere. Um, you can see, obviously, trading him isn't a problem. I soul take a hundreds for your soul. Other bruisers might give you a problem. I am here. Got the slow on him. We will find um, justice. Can also dominate my strength. The soul takes If they're like under the tower, poke them with that. I do not fear the sword crowns. Even when you're like attacking the tower, I would stay, you know, blinking around it just to keep your damage. Reductions going. Turret destroyed. So yeah, she has no will. I seek vengeance. And she doesn't have power. She's all cooldown base. And that allows Another you to spam off her skills now. whenever you want them. Yes.
Time to move. That is inevitable. And if you kill them while they're under the tower and the drones are there, the tower doesn't target you. I have learned much. Now Gaspat isn't really a champion that has a lot of crowd control. Unless he's building Lobo's chain. Really don't need to use if you are uh, certain double blink offensively against somebody like Gasbat. But the double blink is really good, say if you're chasing somebody like Joker, who has uh punchies and the presence that slows you. Best to do that. Let's get this. So I guess you can do the stab and then try and proc off a double W and that'll give you lifesteal. Ah, uh, hope he wasn't up. So yeah, that's essentially how she's played in a, a 1v1 scenario. So, I'm, I'm gonna try to put some live footage of Coast City up as well. And. Yeah. She's a really good champion altogether. She excels in both the lane and. My vengeance soul will not in yet rest. Jungle. Uh, depending on how you think she should be played. Now a fine weapon. I will find a purpose for this. You have the tools to keep her anywhere. So you want her in the jungle? You got those no pokes, life steal, slow. All in her kit. Soul taker hungers for your soul. I will do whatever it takes. You have defeated an enemy. You will find no peace within Soul Taker. Cut that apple. Alright, so that's Katana. Um, she's really good. Assassin, bruiser. She's technically a bruiser. They call her a bruiser. Uh, I think that's mainly because of the health scaling and her ability to crowd control a bit. But she does the damage of pure assassin. Maidu. She's very swing with sword. And does... Yeah, she's fun. So again, if you guys have any questions, you can uh, hit me up on Twitch. My Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash Marks. Um, when the Steam rolls out, you can find me on Steam. My Steam ID is backslash the goods. It is time to strike. So, yeah. It's really fun when you're not getting destroyed like this. Husband, my strength grows. Attack! Yes! She wants Sakura Nai. Ah! Ah, baby. Alright. 